So uh, in this video, I will talk about the Lambda functions of Java 8. It's a really cool feature of Java which can help you to achieve a lot of things programmatically uh, by writing less uh, number of lines of code, okay? So if you're watching this video first time, then I would suggest you to go to Navin's Automation Lab and watch the Java 8 features if you want to learn in the details. But if you are already aware about this uh, Lambda function, Java 8, then stick to this video. This is a crash course, and I will try to cover almost all the Java 8 Lambda function essential for test automation, okay? Let's say you have an interface here, and uh, let me give the name as something, okay? And here, inside the interface, I have one abstract method, print name. Now, when I try to instantiate this interface, what will happen? Uh, Java or I, this ID won't allow me to instantiate the interface because only class can be instantiated, but not the interface. But let me try to do it, and let's see what happens if I do that. something s equal to new as soon as I hit enter you will notice that it forces me to implement this abstract method inside the main method right because since this is abstract method we cannot create the object of this interface okay we have to implement this uh, abstract method and uh, let me write something here. Now, to use this method, to use this method, I have to do what? S dot print name, okay? And when I run this, I'm going to get hello world on the console, okay? So now, this is by implementing the interface, okay? Now here we can use the lambda function. Let me show you how this many number of line can be reduced using the lambda function. For lambda function, first thing you have to remove this. After anything after this equal sign, till this bracket, you have to just delete it, okay? Delete this thing, okay? Anything between equal to and this bracket got deleted, okay? And after this bracket, you have to put this sign okay so this is lambda okay and inside this curly bracket you do not have to provide this method name okay so i'm going to remove this and instead you can directly implement the code see as you can see a lot of code got subtracted from this uh, method okay and if i run this i'm going to get the same output hello world Okay, so as you can see, this is how we use the Lambda, okay? So Lambda is nothing but this method followed by this arrow and ins uh, inside this curly braces, you write the implementation, okay? And here, since uh, this interface, we are using it to create this uh, Lambda methods, we can give annot annotation as functional interface, okay? So by doing so, nobody can add more abstract method. See, if I try to do that, it won't allow me because we have provided this functional interface, okay? So if I remove this functional interface, you notice the error gone. But if I uh, uncomment this functional interface annotation, you see the error came back, okay? So this is how you can create the functional interface and implement inside your code. Okay, if this uh, takes argument, let's say it takes string name, okay, then you have to just pass some uh, value of the type string. Let's say value, okay, or anything, let's name, okay, hello world, and here you can write is, um, hello world, instead here, let me write 
the name is plus name okay the name is plus name and here I'm going to provide the argument sorry okay and let me run this and you will see the name is Abhishek okay so this is how you can write your own uh, lambda functions okay but Java 8 comes along with many predefined interface which you can use it okay let me show you what I mean let's say you have a method which takes one args and returns another type of arc then we can use functional interface function interface coming from here function interface okay and when I hover my mouse on function you will see what type parameter t the type of the input of the function and r is the type of the result of the function so here I want to pass string in my lambda function and I want to get integer okay and give the name as like get length okay equal to and our uh, lambda symbol and here I will I'm going to return what return first we have to pass some value value so this is value is of type string and we want to return result of type integer so I'm going to write value okay value dot length it's value dot length so here I'm going to pass a string value and this function or this method is going to get the length of the string to use it I'm going to encapsulate inside the sys.outprintln and get length dot and the method that we have to use is apply and pass the string value okay so now when I run this, let me comment out this. When I run this, it's going to print the number of characters of the string and that is eight. See, okay. So function takes one argument, returns another argument of another type, okay. Interface called unary operator, unary, unary operator. Okay. the unary operator takes one act and return the same type not another type so here let's say I want I am going to provide integer okay and uh, let's say mul multiply okay so this is the method equal to and our lambda uh, symbol or sign and the argument is value which is of type what integer okay so I am going to retain return same type that is integer but value multiplied by 2 so any value that you pass is going to be multiplied by 2 and going to be returned okay let me print on console that is multiply dot the method that we are going to use is apply okay and let's say 3 so this should give us what 6 3 multiplied by 2 6 okay so yeah this is how you use unary operator now another interface is binary operator takes two args of same type and we return one arc return one of same type okay now let's type binary operator and uh, string or integer and T E G E R integer let's say sum is the name of the method our uh, lambda symbol takes two arguments so I'm going to write value 1 and value 2 of type what integer 
and I want sum, so I want to return it. Value one plus value two. Okay. So now let me print this on the console. So I am going to say sum dot what apply and value one is let's say three and value two is two. So this should print three plus two five and uh, let's see what it means five okay so this is binary operator then we have predicate predicate interface does what takes one take type of args one type of args and return boolean value okay so i know it's spelling mistake but yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let me write predicate and give the value as string. Okay, and let's say is uppercase. So this this method is going to check if the provided string is in uppercase or not. And uh, you have to provide equal to the sign of lambda. and uh, the value one which is of type string okay which is of type string if and we will say value dot equals if value dot equals to value dot to upper case then if 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 this is true then what return true or else return false okay change to uppercase now let's see what we get here is upper is uppercase dot I think test yeah and now let me pass the method as matter not matter but string as abhishek so this will print false since it's not in uppercase so it printed false and if i write all the uppercase method uh, string this should print what true see it printed true okay so this is a predicate interface we have two more that is we have two more okay we have two more let's see the two more are one one consumer consumer what is consumer so consumer interface consumes the uh, consumes does not return anything and su consumer okay coming from java util function and type string string okay and let's say print name is the method name then again we have to provide lambda uh, syntax okay now it takes string okay value and sys out the name is plus value okay so in order to use this i simply type print name dot accept okay print name dot accept okay so as you can see i did not write sys dot i did not write sys dot out dot print ln here because this consumes the uh, parameter and returns nothing so if I do sys dot out print ln, this won't return uh, anything. Okay. So here when I do this, I'm going to get the name is Abhishek. Okay. And the one more interface is supplier. Supplier won't take any argument and return something. Supplier. Okay. Supplier coming from Java util function type is string 
get name okay get name equal to then we have this lambda syntax and return Abhishek okay for example now let's see how to use this in order to use this this is the method which returns the name Abhishek so we want to print this inside the uh, on the console so I'm going to use this dot out and I'm going to write the name of the author is and plus get name is the name of the method dot get is the method to get this uh, string abhishek okay and let me uh, comment out this one the previous one and let's see what we get here okay the name of the author is abhishek okay so these are some of the predefined interfaces that we have seen and also we have seen how to use your own interface to uh, write the lambda functions okay now we have a streams stream are very important uh, for that I'm going to give you the practical example with the uh, web driver so for that I'm going to create a class and give name as flipkart example okay and uh, I'm going to select the main method okay web driver web driver manager dot chrome driver dot set up okay web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and what driver dot get I want flip card this URL I want to get and once the URL once the uh, website is up I want to get all the links okay I want to get all the links and store inside the list list of web element all links equal to driver dot find elements we want to use element by dot x path and tag name a okay so this is going to return all the elements with the tag a which are nothing but links okay let's import this web element list from util okay we are good now okay so let me first print all the link on the console so for that I'm going to use the Java 8 uh, for each loop all link dot for each for each X which is nothing but the this is the consumer function X is the one element on which x element dot get text I want to do get text dot out in order to print this sys so okay not just like this okay so okay this is going to print it okay this is going to print all the links on the console okay driver okay browser is up and running now and we'll see it should print a link on the console yes as you can see it's printing in the background see it's it's still printing okay so for each is okay stale element exception but this doesn't matter so here we are interested in this links as you can see it printed nearly all the links on the uh, this page flipkart on the console okay so we can use the for each method of java to print the links okay now let's see what else we can do with it 
Okay. Here we can see there are many empty links. We can remove those empty links using the stream API. So first I'm going to convert this uh, link into stream, this list into stream, my bad, stream. And now what? I am going to filter this. Okay, filter. And for element X, I want to do what? X dot get text dot is empty. Okay, but here I am going to write not. So it should not be empty. And for each X sys o X dot get text. Okay, so this is the stream API I am going to use and this is going to filter all the empty links from the page. Okay, let's try to run this again. And this time it should not print empty links. As you can see, this time it's restraining from printing the empty links. Okay, so all the empty links got restricted or uh, got discarded. Okay, see, it printed all the valid links and discarded all the links. We have one more uh, method, for example, let's say, after filter, I want to map this okay so I can write map map is the method and takes the function we have seen the function interface which takes one argument return another type okay so function and uh, I want to do what x x dot get text dot to uppercase to uppercase okay and for each x first so we have mapped what we have took the text out of this element that is we took the link and uh, converted it to the uppercase using the mapper function and now we just want to print the x so here I am going to remove the get text because in the mapper function I have already uh, extracted the text out of the element okay so now let me run this again okay let me just put this up here clear and let me run this again and this time all the links are are going to be printed in the uppercase See, all the links now are printing in the uppercase because we have used the map function. Okay. So, yeah, that's it in this video. So the objective of this video was to give you insight how to use the Lambda functions and stream API and how using Lambda function and stream API can reduce a lot of work and can help you to optimize your code. So if you want to check the methods belong to the stream API, then you can do it. Uh, you can check Java docs. So uh, this is the URL I use suggested by Navin. Uh, it's really pretty amazing. A website which uh, covers almost all the methods and classes. So here, when I type stream, and you will notice that stream has what? See, stream has nested class, has methods as a filter, as a map that we have seen, map to integer. So this converts the uh, assets or the uh, objects of the list or the stream into the integer, also to the long to double so you i would uh, suggest you 
or encourage you to please explore this uh, class and also its method okay so that's it in this video 